Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, on which could depend on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Happy Sunday. Today is Unko Market. I bring you news update. Make December 15 the finest hour of the Supreme Court of Nigeria. Do not be intimidated or bribed by President Bola Tinubu, whose friend urges Supreme Court of Nigeria. Yes, that's the U.S. lawyer to the, to the leader of the IPOB, Mazdan Kano, warning the Nigerian, the justices of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, that they should not be intimidated by Ebola Tinubu. Yes, they should dispense justice without fear nor favor. Yes. He said, after all, this Tinubu we are talking about, that his presidency is already on life support because of credible evidence of diploma fraud, drug trafficking in the United States of America. Yes. That's what Bruford is saying. Say discharge this or dispense justice without fear, no favor. Yes, you must be firm. Look at the statement or the letter Bruce Fenn wrote to the Supreme Court justices ahead of the December 15, 2023 judgments. He said, quote, Honorable Justices, December 15, 2023 will be a day in Nigeria that will live in judicial glory or infamy. The decision is in your hands. You have set aside that day to render judgment on the legality of Unamdekano's prosecution by the federal government of Nigeria. Everyone knows the Nigerian government's ulterior motive to punish Mr. Kano for exercising his constitutionally protected free speech rights to urge self-determination for Biafrans through peaceful avenues of redress. This court should not be blind to what all the world can see. Indeed, a Nigerian High Court sitting in Enugu recently held the governments at law in indigenous people of Biafra to be headed by Mr. Kano for advocating self-determination was unconstitutional Further, on July 20, 2022, the Working Group on Arbitrary Detention of the United Nations Human Rights Council found that Namdi Kano's solitary confinement since June 2021 violated 16 international human rights covenants binding on Nigeria and ordered its immediate and unconditional release and reparations. The Nigerian government has lawlessly ignored the Working Group's decision for over a year. The Nigerian government did not deny that it had conspired with Kenya to have Mr. Kano kidnapped and tortured in Nairobi and subject to extraordinary rendition to Abuja in June 2021 and committed multiple crimes against his person. These crimes followed an attempted Nigerian government assassination of Mr. Kano on September 14, 2017, which was legally condemned by the High Court of Abia State on January 19, 2022. A cornerstone principle of law stemming back many centuries is that crime should not pay. To rule against Namde Kano would permit the Nigerian government to profit from its own crimes and abandon more of the same. Under international law and practice, Biafras have been denied the right to self-determination through a free and fair independence referendum arranged and conducted by a neutral international body as the South Sudanese enjoyed in 2011. This norm of international law is not reserved for Africa only. The United Kingdom offered Scotland a self-determination vote in 2014. Canada offered Quebec a self-determination vote in 1995. In both cases, independence failed because the United Kingdom and Canada treated all their citizens even-handedly and under the rule, rule of law. Namde Kano is seeking to undo the wickedness and avarice of British colonization in Nigeria. 
amalgamation of distant peoples, including Biafrans, Yoruba, and Hausa Fulani, was compelled by British machine guns in 1914. Nigerians boundaries were illegal at both at bite born of the cynical chant. Whatever happens, we have got the maxim gone, and they have not. Not a single African had a say in Nigeria's boundaries, which endure today as legacy of British lawlessness and the colonial policy of divide and conquer. Nigeria has been a chronically convulsed artificial state since independence in 1968. Legal and moral responsibility lies with the United Kingdom. To support Namdekano is to expel the cruel, unlawful rem remnants of British colonialism in Nigeria. The British stole, stole sovereignty from each distant peoples of Nigeria by abandoning the international law obligation to offer each independence referenda. Be inspired by the Pakistan Supreme Court bullied by military dictator Pavez Musharraf. In 2009, the Supreme Court held the dictator's emergency rule was unconstitutional. A decade later, a special court found Musharraf guilty of treason for suspending the constitution and sentenced him to death. Pakistan's lawyers applauded both decisions as landmarks in the rule of law. Do not be intimidated or bribed by President Bola Tinubu. His presidency is already on life support because of credible evidence of diploma fraud or drug trafficking in the United States. A decision in favor of Nam Kano would be overwhelmingly applauded by Nigerian lawyers, a high water mark in the rule of law and the independence of the judiciary. The court would become an instant candidate for the Nobel Peace Prize, Nigeria's upheavals would begin to abate. Additionally, you would become a model for other African courts by giving life to judicial independence, the secret of domestic tranquility. Make December 15 the fairness hour of the Supreme Court of Nigeria. All eyes will be upon you with deepest respect, Bruce Fane. And of course, and so this is the good friend telling the Supreme Court justices to be firm, to deliver their country, yes, from this uh, mirage of challenges, diseases that envelops the country as a result of the government's uh, recklessness, executive rascality, and this is their behavior that look. Might is right, other than obey the law. The law you make, international laws as well. Treaty protocols you are signatory to, you have to abide by them, but you refuse to do that. So we refer the saying, as December 15 beckons, the Supreme Court Justice should be prepared to dispense justice. Yes, without fear, without favor. No ill will.